It's day three. Here's what happened yesterday. Innovation sounds good, sounds exciting. The sprint tents are in a desperate kind of like frenzy. Sounds sexy, sounds scary because it sounds big. We're in the middle of our day two. It exposes us to new ways of thinking. You weigh the same as a warthog. <laughs> How do we produce a good future? We'll design it, we'll design a persona. Now their brains just brimming with lots of ideas. We should see them pinging out all over the festival. So I'm really looking forward to day three. Teams have some decisions to make. Now, where are Will and Sophie? <laughs> Guys, it's day three. It's crunch time for the teams. We can't think, oh, I'm an engineer, I work in this, I have the answers. It's about diversity, it's about different people coming up with different ideas. When it comes to innovation and we come to looking at different ways forward, that is something that we should be very aware of. The simplicity is the answer. Here we are then, it's day three, it's halfway through the week and everything so far is going very swimmingly. Well, I say that, I should really ask you that, shouldn't I, Angela? How is everything going so far? Everything is indeed going swimmingly. So excited that the sun has made a well, very welcome return. I'm sure it's going to really give everybody lots of energy to really power the creativity and enthusiasm of the day. We actually really need those really big ideas that we can actually make something out of and that actually will really make a difference to the business. And do you know what, if there isn't much floating around, the, the sprint leads will be feeling pressure because we need output. We caught up with you yesterday and we got to see the good work that's happening in the Ford Sprint. Just across the way, they were looking at an app that can be developed for car users. Mainly we're looking at the cabin, so we're looking at how can people work in the cabin. We know a lot of people will rest in the cabin, so they're eating their lunch. How can we make that experience better? The app, um, that's all finished up and uh, hopefully produce uh, you know, real solutions from those ideas that were developed in the Sprint. Lots of brilliant ideas are in the pipeline so far. Now, one idea that sticks out from last year is, of course, the underground mapping software. But this year, they thought outside the box and above ground. One company, Ordnance Survey, have worked in association with Mobile Eye to create some interesting technology that they've installed in one of their cars. And they've invited me to go and have a look. What you'll see on the screen now is the video feed that the Mobile Eye camera's seeing. All the coloured lines is a road edge, is a road sign, is a lamp post in real time. Normally, that's the stuff which controls an autonomous car. It trains you to be a better driver. And what you'll see here is it's picked up the speed limit on, on the actual display. It delivers safety because this will warn me if there's a hazard, it'll beep at me if I'm doing something wrong, and it gives me about a two second warning before something happens. In London, the bus companies have now installed it and they've seen a 30% reduction in crashes and a 60% reduction in injuries just by having the kit for safety. I have the absolute pleasure now of being joined by Dick Strawbridge, who has escaped from the chateau to I join us here in the Northeast for the Innovation Festival. How are you finding it so far? Brilliant. Brilliant. It doesn't matter where I go, there's people who are actually thinking and doing stuff. It, it's, it's, great day out. The innovation is creative but there's also some basic background engineering and science going on and because it's a festival people are smiling as well. It's a great way to work and I think there's a lot of work being done. Everything from the sort of the plant buddy when we're talking about watering plants even to the ordnance survey looking at how do we map all the assets that are under the ground and then when it comes to the data hacking you've got rooms full of data scientists and they don't usually hunt in packs they're usually individuals that get hidden away in dark rooms but there's groups of people talking about the best way to use data, collect it and, and, and pull it all together. Thank you so much for joining us here. I am in one of the tents with Luke. Luke, how's it going? Yeah, good. Yeah, it's been a nice nice morning. Busy. <laughs> Lots of attention to the dog. But, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> Denzel is a water leak detection dog um, and I'm used primarily to search trunk mains or pi big pipelines in rural areas. Uh, what we're using Denzel for is we're using him for his nose. So if there's a leak there in his subsurface where we can't always see, he'll be able to detect there by smelling the chlorine which is in the leak. I'm going to let you go and enjoy the festival. There's loads going on and Denzel's getting yeah. tons of attention over there at that table. Yeah. He's disappeared. 
Plant Buddy is an idea that you have sensors in your plants and it me measures the moisture. And if you aren't available or can't water, then someone else in your community can take care of the waterings. And we're using the sprint here to figure out where else that could be applied. I didn't even know what to expect coming here. I was excited to innovate and meet with all these great minds, but if we can actually come up with something that we can show people, like that's so compelling. Angela, how does it feel that we are like halfway through the week and it's going pretty well, isn't it? It is going more than pretty well. It's going amazingly well, but I won't lie, I'm feeling a little bit tired. And I'm not surprised that probably the rest of the, uh, the site are just feeling now. The energy levels have been so high and it's yeah. really hard just to keep that momentum going. But the really exciting thing is, is that things are actually popping to the surface and we're actually starting to see those glimmers of really strong ideas that are coming to the top. How are people going to keep their batteries charged for the rest of the week? Well, we have had a whole programme of health and wellness activities to make sure that we are actually looking after people because it is really hard. <laughs> Listening and thinking actually use a lot of brain power and are exhausting. Are you enjoying it? I feel like you've more done a fantastic job. <laughs> more than yeah, enjoying bring it. Bring in the love. Oh you've done God. such a good job. Thank Only you. two more days. <laughs> I know. I'm going to keep it going. <laughs> keep it going. <laughs> Well, that is it for day three here. We have seen some superb, innovative ideas so far, but day four will be all about bringing the best ideas to life. Absolutely. People are headed home now, and tomorrow they really must deliver. Today's been full of high pressure, but tomorrow they're going to step it up. Oh. That's right. Things really will be heating up, but we will see you tomorrow for all of the action from the festival. See you then.